Hi, art students. Mrs. McIver here um, with a short little video um, for an art project that I think is pretty neat, and hopefully you'll give it a shot. Um, the first thing I did in this project was I found an old magazine. All right, so I just took a magazine from home, looked through it, and I found this image of a skier. So I cut him out using my scissors. Um, and don't get too hung up on it having to be perfectly cut out. Do the best you can, okay? So I'm gonna put him over to the side for now. And then on a piece of white paper, I went ahead and I drew the background. So I want my skier to actually be skiing. So I went ahead and I just, using my pencil, did a series of lines that were um, just kind of organic and freely shaped, okay? Then I traced over those pencil lines with my Sharpie, and you can kind of see where I did that here. And notice that I didn't actually follow the line exactly. That's not a big deal. I'm gonna take my eraser, and I can go ahead and just erase those pencil lines, okay? So find an eraser, and if it's not exact, it's not a big deal. So I'm gonna erase those pencil lines, and then using my marker, I went back in and I created, using line, a contour to my mountain. So you can see right here is one that I finished, all right? Um, I'm going to do the same thing across here. So I could go ahead here, and I want this to kind of look like it's sort of dipped. And just by using a series of lines, I can create that illusion of depth. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this whole thing in. Change it up a little bit there. Fill the whole thing in. Maybe I want to do like a really cool thought it might be kind of neat to put a sun in here. And then I'm just going to have my sun go out. So it looks like rays extending upward. And to make sure they're evenly spaced, I'm going to keep dividing each section in half. That way it doesn't get all weird on me, weird and wonky. Keep going like this. And your goal here is to get the whole background filled in with lines. Then you're going to take the image that you cut out and you're going to glue him on top of the background. So I'm going to come back in just a minute when I'm finished and show you what the final project looks like. Okay, we're back. And you can kind of see um, what it looks like when it's finished. So um, I went back in. I filled in all of my background with these different contour lines. So it really looks like the mountains have some dimension to them. The other thing that I did was after I finished with everything, I went back in and I did thicken up some of my lines just some for, for some variety here. Um, and then the last step was to use just a little bit of glue. Don't overdo it. Um, just a little bit of glue. Remember, a dot, not a lot. Um, put it on the back of my image and then glued it to my background. So give it a shot um, and then feel free to um, upload this either into Blackboard or you can send me a picture. Good luck. Bye.